This is James Harder for I from London. I'm in Belfast today for the Celtic clash. With me, I've got Stephen Reynolds ahead of his clash with Declan Trainer. How are we feeling, Steve? All right? Feeling good, feeling good. Weighing over now, so I'll get a bit of, bit of grub into me now and um, relax and look forward to the fight. This is my first time in Belfast. What can I anticipate tomorrow from the Belfast crowd and the kind of atmosphere uh, I'm Bel expecting? Belfast crowd are always great to get behind. Every fighter that's here, from my experiences anyway, and uh, it'll be no different tomorrow night. Having a look at your record now, quite a lot, quite a l two, two fights so far, quite a long time to turn over. Looking at your amateur pedigree, a lot of people have told me that you've ranked uh, possibly ahead of David Hay in the amateurs for quite, quite a long time. Uh, as I said before, that was only on paper. Um, for me now, it's, it's uh, getting back in at such a late stage, it's a challenge. Like, um, and to see can I do it when I'm in my 40s, see can I win an Irish title. And this is another step on, the, on, on that journey. And uh, all going well, I'll get the victory tomorrow night. And, uh, and I'm hoping for a good fight and uh, we'll take it from there. What took you so long to turn into the professional ranks? Because obviously some people, once they win their first national title, second national title, they'll turn over. For you to do it five times and, and then still not even think about turning over, could you talk to me through that? Yeah, um, uh, I was a relatively late starter to, to boxing. I was 22 when I started but actual boxing and within within uh, 18 months I had won a senior, my first senior title. I stayed there trying to qualify for Olympic Games, missed out on that and... Uh, came back and as soon I was no sooner in boxing than I was out again at about 28 and uh, I, I started coaching in the club then and just it's only lately a bit of an itch in there to, to get back in and uh, I said sure why not give I was too old to box as an amateur like I think in other other countries they have masters boxing and, and if that was there at the time I would have done that but uh, there wasn't, it wasn't the, and so I said the, the nearest thing for me to do to compete now is um, professional boxing. So I had my first fight here last week, uh, last year against uh, Moses Matuvo, in at the deep end with a, a very experienced opponent, and I, I managed to, to do okay. And the black, the black Mamba. The Black Mamba, yeah, very experienced opponent, uh, tough as nails, learned a lot in that fight. And in my second fight then I fought uh, uh, Ruslan Bitterov from uh, Hungary, or, or, or Lithuania, and uh, that went well, stopped him with a body shot. But this uh, trainer now is a very experienced uh, amateur as well. Um, he hasn't had a lot of rounds in professional boxing, but like his amateur pedigree will stand to him, and I've got, I'm, I'm very aware of that. And uh, so I have my game plan worked out for tomorrow night, and uh, we'll, we'll stick to that and see how it goes. Trainer looking at his record again, quite a dangerous opponent. Someone told me he went to, Amer uh, to Australia to try his hand there. Had a fight against one of their prospects and kind of stopped the guy and yeah. couldn't get any more fights out there. No, so no, no, he, again, he's, he's a dangerous live opponent. He is, yeah, yeah. He he um, fought a lad called Bogovic. I seen seen the video of it, and uh, but that was a great win for him. And and uh, that's why he probably couldn't get any fights out there after that. So 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 that's why he's back here. Better chance for fights, and he's got one. How much would it mean to you to be victorious tomorrow in front of Belfast crowd? Um, it would be, it be, it be great. It's, uh, I, need, I need the victory. Um, uh, for, for me, if, like there's nothing else that I, I need to win. But I'm not putting any pressure on myself. Um, I'm going to go in there and give it, give it my best uh, tomorrow night and uh, hopefully it'll be good enough. Stephen Reynolds, uh, last question. Why do they call you Block? Have you got an answer for this? I have. Bad haircut years ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Right, we're going to leave this there. This Good is James Holder with Stephen Reynolds. Good luck for tomorrow, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you.